Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another camp campground experiential video. Meaning, I'm gonna show you all the stuff. I am currently camped out on Belton Lake. We're on the north edge of the Texas Hill Country. This is a lake on the Leon River. And we're gonna start off from just where my boat ramp fans. They actually have a working boat ramp. There's a big long hill and a construction crew and boats. So I'm, I'm not gonna take the scooter down there. But we are here at Cedar Ridge Park. Forgot to mention that. Cedar Ridge Park boat ramp. There is a marina accessible through Cedar Ridge, but they don't want strangers. They'll tow you if you don't have a parking permit. So let's jump on Sable and we'll go see the stuff. If you have a group of RV and kind of friends and y'all want to hang out together somewhere kind of in the center of Texas, Cedar Ridge Park has a fantastic RV loop, RV group loop not to be mistaken with fruit loop it's a group loop <laughs> let's go see what the power supplies are i'm not exactly sure how many rvs can be accommodated we know it's at least five there we go 50 amp power Hey, that's pretty cool. 50 amp and water. Got to have a volleyball net. Pavilion, in case it comes with a rain shower. Horseshoe pit. Hey, y'all like to play horseshoes? If you do, post a comment down in, in. Tell me the rules of the game. I know you throw horseshoes at a spike in the ground, but. How do you keep score? They've already laid in some firewood for you out here, some of these sites. That's a cool, they, they get the oak trees, the live oak trees in Central Texas in the hill country, they're just so cool. All gnarly looking. So this is site number eight. And 10. 10 RVs. So if you got 10 RVs that want to camp together, Cedar Ridge Park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Let's go see some shelter. So if you're not into tent camping, you don't have an RV, but you, you want to visit Belton Lake and kind of rough it. If screen shelters, and we'll, we'll, we'll check out the view in a moment. But first we got to look at the screen shelter. Comes with kind of, sort of, some, some tarps, ceiling fan and lights. Woohoo, look at that fancy light fixture. <laughs> you ever heard the term lipstick on a pig? <laughs> And I don't know how to, the fan was on when I opened the door. I don't know how to turn it off. This is, this is shelter number eight. There's, there's no RV connection. So this is, if, if you have an RV, you'll be parking somewhere else. And it is quite a, the, the lake is desperately low, so you're, you're really far from the water. I, I don't even know if there's water access over here. Boat ramp is so low, or the water's so low, they had to cut a channel for the boat ramp. So, all right, let's go see some more stuff. The shelter loop does have his and her respective showers. And that's plenty spacious. Yeah. 
pretty warm too. The the toilet area really needs some updating. <laughs> it's it's pretty rough. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If indeed you are contemplating a family gathering, a family reunion in the Texas Hill Country, you might want to consider Cedar Ridge Park. I mean, look at that. That's one heck of a group pavilion and a smoker that does that justice too. Horseshoe pits, volleyball nets. They actually have two of these massive group pavilions. Let's go see the other one. Our third pavilion. This would be the second just big open group, not RV specific. Just a big group pavilion. Whole lots of folks can gather here and feast and play volleyball and horseshoes and reminisce. Reminisce about the good old days. All right. Let's, let's go see some RV campsites. On my previous visit to Cedar Ridge, we were camped like over here somewhere in this, this part of the RV loop. These sites are great. They're nestled here in the trees. They're flat. They're not real long though. We get down to the other end of this loop and they get bigger. I guess we need to do a shower check. Not too shabby. Yeah, There's plenty of room there. And there's hot water. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you have a big toy hauler that has the, the door that drops down and makes the patio, oh, these are the sights for you. Look at the vista that you will have from your patio. When I was here last, true Texan. Patron and subscriber. Thank you, sir. He was set up right there. One of those two. Anyway. I think it was that one. That's a, that'd be a great sight if you got that fifth wheel patio. All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. One of the things, one of the most notable things about Cedar Ridge Campground are the deer, the white-tailed deer. There's a whole bunch of them here. Last time I was here, I, I, I caught two bucks fighting. The deer herd in Texas right now is being threatened by the wasting disease. There have been several deer that have been found have that wasting disease that they don't want that to we sure don't we don't want that to spread all right there's one more camping loop we've got to go check out the last time i was here at cedar ridge this place was being renovated they were putting in new power and water so i didn't really i didn't get to do a scooter run through here and we're gonna change that today and we're gonna do it with the insta 360 see how that works out but there's some really nice sights over here lots of trees they're very flat and of course there's lots of wildlife
there's a trail. Definitely not ADA accessible. I think I know what we're gonna find at the bottom of those stairs, but we're gonna go down there and check it out. We come down the, we came down the stairs. And of course, what we found was not much. A big helicopter making noise. I think that was a UH-56. The Holland Hogs used to bring us supplies when we were in the Mediterranean Ocean. Anyway, I digress. Man, this would be a great place to do some fishing if there was a fishing dock and a lake. It's really cool the way the, the limestone shelf is there. Yeah, that would be cool. This would be a... Belton Lake looks like a great lake to kayak. <laughs> now I gotta go back up. <sighs> the things I do for you. If you're looking for a fun place to take the grandkids, I think Cedar Ridge Park has <laughs> got you covered. Got a play structure. Some of those cool swings that you can go really high on right here right here in all these gnarly oaks we need to go do a we need to go do a, a, a handicap shower check there you have it You got some water pressure. Not a whole lot. It'll do though. Although, it's kind of frustrating to... That was loud. Kind of frustrating that they really don't have any wheelchair... Ex wheelchair showers? Anyway. Maybe they'll get caught up sometime. Okay, let's go see some more stuff. If you're a boat ramp fan, this is kind of good news. At least there's water within sight of the end of the boat ramp. They don't have it closed off. Just know your trailer might get bogged down. And if you got kids with you and the water level's normal, they might want to go swimming, but right now, uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be much swimming going on any, anytime soon. I got a pretty blue box. We need to get some footage of that. Up close kind of footage. That's what spring in Texas is all about, right there. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Wow. If the lake was at level, site number 28 would just be <laughs> awesome. Look at that view. Right now all you can see is the mud flat. But if there was water in this lake, that'd be a good site. All right, let's go see what else we can find. <laughs> There's your courtesy, Doc. Buzzard days. They're headed that way. If you don't know about buzzard days, there's a video. 
we're doing a we're doing a dude rv gathering at the end or in, in august the dates are posted on that video we have a facebook group duders dude rvs duders learn all about it there buzzard days we're gonna camp in the heat for my boat ramp fans there's your boat ramp looks like business must be good for the marina because that looks like they're expanding adding slips of course looking at it you gotta know where they're gonna go i don't know what i do know we're done with cedar breaks park for the second time i sure appreciate you staying with me as long as you have if you enjoyed this visit please consider clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me on your social media that really that really helps a lot and if you've not already I'd really really be i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another edition of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to come out and look at things of this nature. <laughs> I really get, I really enjoy sharing these campgrounds with you. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear? It's beer 30.